What is up, the YTDC? It's Shit Soils. I'm back here once again on a fine Friday evening. I've got myself a 40-ounce bottle of Coke 45 malt liquor in the glass container, old school, for all you fucking glass haters or rather plastic haters out there. Here you go. The real fucking deal, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Now, it was the late Mr. Badass Andy. He's not really dead. He's just gone off of me. When I say late, in reference to YouTube characters, uh, I'm more meaning, you know, they're not on YouTube anymore. So, the late Mr. Badass Andy used to say, you got to have a purpose in the video. Got to be a purpose. Always a purpose. I have a fucking purpose for this fucking video. A purpose that just presented itself not an hour ago. Let me get some drinking in before I start babbling about this shit. Cold 45. Malt liquor. I did not double the malt because I can't double the malt here. They don't let me double the malt. Malt liquor. Top of 72, he's over in Spain. Fucking repping that Celtics jersey. <clears throat> Shout out to Peeve240 for doing some... Uh, Get a wine chugs recently, including a Mad Dog Monday. Thank you very much, Miss, for making that fucking video. I did enjoy it. Keeping the Mad Dog Monday tradition alive, and then also drinking a delicious bottle of Night Train, which is foreign to me. I've never had Night Train, but one it's on my list. It's on my bucket list. Night Train and fucking uh, Thunderbird. Might be kind of a long video, I apologize, but um, I do have a story, like I said, that just fucking occurred. Cold uh, uh. <clears throat> 45 Mount Leaker, drink only Mount Leaker, label out. Let me get into this fucking story, though, because it's been fucking irritating me since this happened. So I'm sitting over there, not an hour ago, on my couch, sitting on my computer, fucking watching YouTube videos, drinking a fucking beer, minding my own business. I live in an apartment building, so if someone needs to, needs to you know, come in or, you know, wants to get my attention... They ring the fucking buzzer downstairs because in order to ring, to get into the building itself, you have to be let in by a tenant. So normally no one just knocks at my actual apartment door. Sometimes my next door neighbor will, <clears throat> a nice older man, he'll bring uh, packages up that'll be left down in the mailroom sometimes for us. So I'm sitting there, and I hear at my door. And anytime I ever hear the knock at my door, and no one's, you know, made a fucking announcement that they're coming, I always kind of get weird. I'm like, the fuck is that? Like, no one ever. So I get up, and I walk over here, and I walk over to the door, and there's a little peephole, and I look through the peephole to see who it is. There's no one there. I'm like going, 
Uh, the fuck, someone playing like Ding Dong Ditch or something? Knock Knock Ditch and fucking running away? Seems kind of unlikely, but... So I open the door, and on either side of the door, there's two guys with black gloves. Uh, one of them's got a holster with a gun. The other one's got a holster with a badge. So they're cops, but they weren't, they didn't have cop uniforms on. They were just like undercover cops. First one says to me, hi, yeah, sorry to disturb you, sir. We're looking for a uh, Sheila Manning. Is there a Sheila Manning? Do we have a warrant for her arrest? And, I, and in my head, I go, I've seen the name Sheila Manning on the mail that comes here, like some of the junk mail that comes here. Like it'll say Sheila Manning or current resident. It's just junk. So obviously it was someone that lived here before us who apparently has a warrant out for her arrest. And I get fucking cops knocking at my door after me where the fuck this person is. I say, no, I don't. I'm, I'm like... I don't know who that is. Uh, me and my wife moved in here a few months back, back in May. Uh, I have no idea what you talk, who you're talking about. So they asked if I can, if, if they can see my ID. I'm already like, my meter of rage is going up at this point. Because I know I'm being fucking violated here. I go, yep. Let me just go grab my fucking wallet. I walk into my bedroom. I come back. Right, stand right here. And they're already inside the fucking doorway. Like, I gave them permission to fucking come in. No, I didn't. So I show my ID. And the other guy goes, Oh, we, we heard you talking to somebody. Who, who are you talking to? I go, well, honestly, I talk to myself a lot, and I was just talking to my computer. He's like, it's your computer? Your computer talked to you? You talking to your computer? I'm like, yeah, I was. I was talking to my fucking computer. Instant messenger. Internet chat. You ever heard of that? Chat rooms? It, it's real. Fucking. And then he sees my wife's purse on the table, and he goes, well, whose purse is that? He's like, you know, no one else came with you. Whose purse is that? I go, that's my wife's purse. He's like, where's your wife? I'm like, my wife's like, hidden that. She's staying with her aunt up north for the weekend. It's just me here. And the first guy goes, well, do you mind if we take a quick, uh, just, just look around your apartment, just, just to make sure there's no one here, no one else here? I'm like, I really don't think this is appropriate in any way. And um, I'm going to be calling the station. And they're like, you do you must, sir. We just, we just, we're just trying to make sure that she's not here. We have a warrant for her. I'm like, okay. I just, I took, I mean, my place is small anyway. They walked into the bedroom. I showed them the closet. Here's the deck. Here's nothing. Nothing fucking here. And, you know, oh, all right, well, we're sorry to disturb you. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. I'm fucking real. You know, I can understand them coming in here trying to find a certain person. You know, they're just, they're looking for this person for their arrest. And she did, I see that name on the mail, so that person did live here. I had no fucking clue who the hell they are. Now I'm wondering, who the fuck lived here before us? Some fucking murderer? Fucking bombshell drops on you, man. But I was more aggravated just by the second fucking guy who kept basically interrogating me for nothing. Shouldn't he be in my fucking house in the first place? Most likely going to put a call to the fucking local police department and let them know that that was fucking not right. Not that they'll do a goddamn fucking thing about it. I'm fucking real, man. I swear to God. Anyway, anyway that's my story. Fucking pisses me off. Fucking. Ugh. At least it gave me something to talk about in my fucking malt liquor video, though. Look at the fucking bright side, I guess. I'm not really a big fuck the police guy, but 
Fuck the police. Fuck you. Nothing to, f no nothing to fucking chow on for donuts or coffee tonight. Let's go fucking harass some random guy living in an apartment. Minding his own fucking business. I'm telling you, man. I'm fucking telling you. All liquor. That sound is the buzzer, and that's Forty the Forge trying to come in. Let me kill this off real quick. I thank you for watching.